Remember Nick Kershaw and Go West? The 80s icons looked very different on this morning. Nick Kershaw and Go West joined Damon Holmes and Ruth Langsford on this morning today and they looked worlds away from their days topping the charts. The trio have joined up for a special Icons of the 80s tour and were on this morning to discuss their decision to work together and looked very different from their heyday. Speaking to Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langsford about the show, Nick revealed, We've also got cutting crew with us and they come on stage with us too. We ruin each other's tunes, Richard Drummy joked. When asked how they had teamed up and how long they'd known each other, Nick shared, we were all kind of in our own little bubbles. I didn't meet these guys until the mid-2000s. But Richard and fellow bandmate Peter Cox assured Ruth and Damon, we've always been a fan of Nick's music though. Nick went on to reveal that he never actually set out to perform and become a musician as he preferred to write songs for others. Performing was a bit of an accident, the 59-year-old noted. I kind of fell into it. Ruth then quizzed. You wrote the Chesney Hawks hit, didn't you? Did you realize how successful it would be? Referencing his single The One and Only. No not at all, Nick explained. I stopped recording for a while and was writing and that was the first one that came out but I put it on the shelf. Ruth continued, has it been kind to you that song? As Nick flashed a small smile, he replied, it has been very kind, thank you. While Nick, Peter and Richard opened up about their tour, viewers flocked to Twitter to express their delight that they had teamed up. Hash this morning saw Go West a few years ago. They was absolutely amazing, one fan tweeted. While another added, Nick and Go West are my faves. Hash this morning. A third continued, love at Nick Kershaw at Peter Jen Cox and at Richard Drummy on Hash this morning. Made my day number 80s.